Hello everyone, thank you so much for going down memory lane with me. I know uh, if you have been keeping up with it, it's been a while and I used to have my profile but then the site got uh, rattled and uh, got seized or whatever and uh, I always went ahead and uh, basically took them off because they were unviewable. If you remember the last time I talked about speedy foods and uh, courtesy of Bob and I said something about uh, going in detail about uh, how Sean was uh, became known as Gamble Gary Ganiva and uh, who Gamble Gary Ganiva 2 the sequel was and then uh, the story of uh, Eldriff uh, Kevin Overt things have changed just a little bit we are going to go with uh, just a little different direction here other than uh, the cur or, uh, other than the uh, uh, the stories of how Sean became uh, uh, known as Gamble Gary Ganiva Gary Ganiva 2 we're going to go with just a little bit differently here so let me tell you that Sean became uh, Gary, Gambling Gary Ganiva. That started back in, uh, I'd say, uh, the late 80s, uh, going into the 90s. Uh, Sean basically was the type of, uh, uh, he just had to bet on anything. And uh, he even, be, even bet kids, I can remember he even bet kids uh, money that I could guzzle a whole two liter bottle of water without stopping which I could do uh, I could still do that to this day uh, once in a great while not as much as I used to but uh, I could still do that once in a great while just cause a whole two liter bottle of water without even taking a breath or without even stopping but uh, Sean used to play scratch off tickets a lot he used to scratch off a lot of tickets like he used to bet on that done things with water and used to uh, uh, bet a uh, against a, a, a guy that uh, he and I had worked with at uh, Dockless Hill Restaurant. Uh, his name was uh, uh, Johnny Norris. Uh, he used to bet him a lot, a lot of stuff. So, but we'll get into the Docco stories uh, a little later in uh, into these. Uh, and the Docco stories are really interesting, folks. You folks won't believe the Docco stories. Like I said, Sean though, you know, he he basically bet a lot. He tried to uh, consume and. Uh, get money as much as far as he could. I guess that started back in the uh, late 80s when he was uh, uh, kind of uh, into his teen years, uh, going peaking into his um, teen years <clears throat> and uh, moving up into uh, his uh, where he is now and I'm sure Sean uh, probably still does that today. He probably still is that gambling Gary Godiva and uh, we used to uh, uh, do that he became known as uh, Gamble Gary Godiva. Uh, the nickname was given to him, and uh, he done a little bit of that with uh, his uh, uh, thing there, and we did it all and whatever. Gamble Gary Godiva 2, the sequel, was a guy, don't know his name for sure, I really forget his name, but he had come into Speed Foods. He was a, uh, uh, he was a, 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 a black gentleman. Worked at uh, Apple Creek, uh, uh, like a juvenile center or whatever it was there for kids. He'd come in, Speedy Foods, and uh, he'd set up there at the counter. When John would go up to the counter, there he'd get up to the counter, and he'd spend maybe three seventy-five, three fifty on uh, on a roll of scratch-off tickets, which uh, he uh, he was really uh, the type of guy that he really. Uh, uh, done what he had, you know, done what he had to do. Uh, he, he'd come in and he'd get a scratch off ticket, scratch it off. If he didn't win, oh, go ahead and give me one more, John. He'd scratch it off. Yeah, give me one more, John. He scratched off. Yeah, give me one more, John. He'd go through, like I said, basically the whole row. There would be maybe 350, 375, and tickets there. And he'd go through the uh, whole row, and not sometimes not win a, not win anything. Uh, Jean and I uh, asked him one time, you know, hey, have you ever won anything big? He uh, told us that he went through a row of Cash Explosion, which was the Ohio Lottery's uh, uh, big. Uh, millionaire show, whatever they call it. Uh, who's your uh, uh, the, the, the cash explosion whistle? How lottery's big uh, uh, scratch off there. You know, you got 
three entries or whatever you put yourself in for the uh, for the thing to uh, get yourself uh, into the honor the show or whatever. He said he scratched off uh, 300 of those and only won like 25 dollars or something. It was just it was just absolutely ridiculous, you know, to know that he'd actually do that stuff and yet have the uh, audacity to uh, just spend that much money. I mean, I could I could spend my, that much money on something else other than just scratch off tickets and have a uh, uh, 25 uh, percent chance of winning something big. Um, but uh, basically, that's how Sean became known as Gambling Gary Ganiva, and how, uh, or, and uh, tells you a little bit about who Gambling Gary Ganiva to the Super was. Uh, tune in next week uh, when I will be talking about uh, 1992 and uh, what became uh, one of the uh, most off the wall things. From that span of 1992 to 19 uh, to uh, late 95, early 96, that was known as the Maslin Wrestling Federation. Got to tune in for that, folks. Something really off the wall as we get into uh, as we go down memory lane. Thank you so much for going to memory down memory lane with me this week. Tune in next week. Thank you, said for the MWF. Peace out.